My name is James. Welcome to Story Corner, presented by the Grade 4 class at Colonel John Stewart Elementary School. Today we are bringing these stories from the imagination of students in our class. And now sit back, relax, and get ready for... The Dragonites are coming. Bob the dog and the cookies. The wish that wasn't meant to come true. Five Nights at Freddy's 4. And Lulu in a skyscraper. My name is Keenan, and my story is called The Dragonites Are Coming. Once there was the Dragonites, Clay, Mudwing, Tsunami, Seawing, Glory, Rainwing, Starfight, Nightwing, and Sunny Sandwing. And six years later, the Dragonites and their guardians meet Marrowseer, the Nightwing. And every day they'd sit in a cave that looked like an old mine. Eat, play, sleep, hunt, talk, go outside and fly for 20 years. Till one day they heard something really loud. It sounded like a fireball. Bam! <sighs> because of that, Sonny was scared and Clay was curious. Because of that, everything was burned and destroyed, even land until finally the Dragonites saved the world. Ever since then, all the dragons were at peace. The end. My name is Caroline. My story is called Bob the Dog and the Cookies. Once there was a dog named Bob, and he was a small dog. He looked very fluffy and cute. And every day, he would eat cookies, 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 and more cookies. And his friend named Lily gave him all of his cookies. Lily was a big dog. She was a greyhound. She was so cute. But Bob did not know how to get cookies. Until one day, he ate them all. Oh, no, Bob said. I need to make a plan. Like, I really need to make a plan. I know I will steal all of Molly's cookies. My neighbor has so many cookies. I know Molly has so many cookies. Because of that, Bob snuck into Molly's house. Oh, so much cookies. I will get them all. Hee hee hee. Ha ha ha. Because of that, oh no, Molly's home! Ah ha! Bob thought. And Molly said, and why are you here, Bob? Uh, um, um, uh, I'm, I'm here because, um, oh yeah, because, Bob, it's okay. I know you love your cookies. It is okay. You can have all of my cookies. I do not really like cookies. Lily just gave me some. Oh, thank you so much, Molly. No problem. Because of that, Molly said, Oh, I'm so sorry, Bob. I know you love your cookies. I should have given you the cookies in the first place. Oh, no, it is my fault. I should not have snuck into your house. Oh, it is okay, Bob. I know you love your cookies. Oh, thank you, no problem. Until finally, Bob got all of the cookies from Molly, and he loved them. He would eat them all day long. He would call Molly all the time and say thank you so much. Ever since then, Molly, Lily, and Bob would play all day long. The end. The title of my story is The Wish That Wasn't Meant to Come True. <laughs> Once there was a dog named Bobby. He was shaggy, brown, blacky, and old, and he lived on West Cherry Blossom Street. And he loved blowing dandelions. In fact, he just blew one yesterday. And every day, his neighbor came over and ran around him in circles. The dog's name was Tommy. <laughs> he was small and full of energy, and he was orange. But he was very annoying to Bobby because he would jump on top of Bobby, asking him over and over again if he wanted to play. Of course, since Bobby was old and had no energy, his answer every time was no. Until one day, Bobby wished Tommy never came back. 
Because of that, he didn't know that when he blew the dandelion yesterday, he had a wish. So when he wished Tommy would never come back, it came true. Because of that, the next day, Tommy didn't come over. At first, Bobby thought, yes, he's finally gone. Then, the next day, he saw that his owners were putting up missing signs, and their daughter was crying. <laughs> because of that, he walked over and found out that his wish came true, and that Tommy actually disappeared. Then he saw the girl blow a dandelion and whisper something, until finally he figured out that the dandelion granted his wish, so he blew another dandelion and wished Tommy would come back. Then he saw Tommy running towards him, and then Tommy toppled on top of him. Ever since then, he blew dandelions with Tommy, making wonderful wishes as they lived happily ever after. The end. My name is Noah S., and my story is called Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Once there was a boy named Evan Afton. He always wears a white and black striped shirt, and he wears blue shorts and he can't stop crying. And every day he loved to play with his psychic friend Fred Bear Plushy. The bear was yellow with a purple hat and purple bow tie. Until one day he woke up in the middle of the night from a nightmare and he checked outside his bedroom door and saw a big yellow bear with a mouth where his stomach would be. He ran to his parents' room, but they didn't wake up. So he ran back to his room and hid under his bed. Because of that, he couldn't sleep and he always got bullied by his older brother. Every day, Evan didn't understand why he was bullied by his older brother. Because of that, on his birthday, his mean old brother, Michael Afton, and his friends wanted to pull a prank on him. So they all picked Evan up. Evan tries to get out of their grasp, but couldn't. And then Michael put Evan in Fred Bear's mouth. He cried out, he was very scared, and he wanted to go home. But then, chomp, Fredbear bit down on Evan's frontal lobe. Because of that, Evan had to be rushed to the hospital. Everyone was panicking. Michael was crying and very sorry. Mike said it wasn't his idea, and his friends forced him to. The nurses tried their best to keep Evan alive, but failed. Until finally, his whole family died, and then a portal opened and sucked all of them in. And they were reunited. They were dead, but they looked alive. Ever since then, they were always a happy family. And if that didn't happen, then who knows what would happen. The end. My name is Noah, and my story is called Lulu and a Skyscraper. Once there was a girl named Lulu who had a red dress, and Lulu lived in a skyscraper. And every day, Lulu would have to go down 50 sets of stairs, and her dress got dirty. Until one day, Lulu moved to a house. It had green tiles and a garden, and the house was on the hillside. Because of that, Lulu met a new neighbor. The neighbor had brown hair and a red dress, just like Lulu. Because of that, Lulu went to new work, and the neighbor worked there too. Because of that, Lulu got to meet new people, and apparently they lived by Lulu's house too. Until finally, Lulu became the manager of the company. The company's name was The Best You Can Get. Ever since then, Lulu had a new house on the hillside, and she was the manager of the company, and she loved her life. The end. You've been listening to stories created by students in Miss McDonald's and Miss Hazelwood's grade for a class at Colonel John Stewart Elementary School, written and recorded during our story workshop in March of 2021. This is a Halifax Regional Arts production.